Welcome back again. In this video, I'll use the same half inch diameter flat end mill as used in the previous operation to rough and finish the inch and a quarter diameter bore using the circle mill function. So let's get started. So first up, I'm going to move into tool paths, slide on down, open up circle paths, and I'm going to pick number one on the list here, circ mill. Now on the left hand side of the screen the drill point selection dialog box shows up and on the screen I'm prompted to select points hit escape when finished. Well what I'm going to do is click on entities and as you can see the prompt has changed select entities press enter when done. I'm going to pick this circle looking good going to hit enter and then next up over on the left hand side going to click on OK. Now here we are on the toolpath type page with circle mill set. Let's move over now to the tool page and what we're going to be doing is using this half inch diameter end mill. That's tool number eight, offset number eight. Now for the spindle speed, I'm going to change that to 3000. The feed rate, I'm going to make that 10 inches a minute. And also the plunge rate, I'm going to change that to 10 inches a minute as well. And as you can see, I've got the rapid retract activated. So everything's looking good on this page. Let's mosey on over to the cut parameters page. Now, first up, before we forget, stock to leave on walls and on floors. Let's make this both zero. So get rid of those 50,000. So they're both at zero. And everything else on this page is just fine. Next up, let's move over to finishing. And I'm going to activate finishing. Just down below, I'm going to activate semi finish as well. I'm going to make this, leave that number at one, but the spacing, I'm going to make that zero. Now down below, I'm going to activate finish. Now for the number of finish passes, going to input one and for the spacing 0 0.007 now just sliding over to the right machine finish passes at I'm going to leave that set to just the final depth but just below I'm going to activate keep tool down so everything's looking good on this page next up I'm just going to click on just below finishing going to activate transitions now at the very top here I'm going to activate lead in out and for the exit entry exit arc sweep I'm going to leave that at 90 degrees and also start at center so we're looking good here next up let's go into breakthrough as you can see it's not activated but I've just turned it on now now the breakthrough amount that's a positive value I'm going to make that 10,000, 0 0.01. Let's check out linking parameters. So starting at the top, clearance is in absolute, set at 2 inches. But what I'm going to do is activate use clearance only at the start and end of operation. Now the retract is turned on, absolute 0.6, that's beautiful. Likewise with the feed plane, that's set at 0.6, just brilliant. And the top of stock, now we've got zero here but our top of stock is 0 0.45 that looks a bit better and for the depth it's in absolute going to change that to zero we're going right through this part now let's go check out the coolant situation I'm going to just turn it on and then pick OK and there's our circle mill toolpath. Now that completes this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be talking